Hello YouTube and to all my subscribers, uh, this is Raijin, do it yourself tutorials and I am really happy for uh, to all of my subscribers um, that I have reached uh, 1030 I have never expected that it will reach uh, my tutorials and to this subscriber and I hope that it will grow more and it uh, it's really a nice gift and, uh, and happy new years to you guys so as uh, today I have decided to create new video tutorial and this new video tutorial that I will make today is about um, paint tool site and Photoshop uh, which is the best software or drawing software for line art or line work for your anime characters or if you want to practice uh, line art line work or creating drawing uh, anime characters which is the best software for it so let's get on with it uh, I have opened here a um, paint tool site and I have a, a sketch here of Sarada Uchiha um, this is hand drawn and I have uh, got a picture of it uh, via the internet also uh, I have put it also here in the Photoshop CS6 so this version CS6 for Photoshop and let's see which uh, of this software is best for uh, creating a uh, line art line work so uh, in this tutorial there will be two parts uh, Photoshop and paint tool Sci, and also uh, two steps in drawing uh, first uh, the first uh, step that will involve is about uh, creating line art line works only using a mouse in paint tool site and Photoshop and the second would be uh, uh, drawing or tracing this piece of work that we created uh, using our graphic tablet or any cheap graphic tablet that we have in paint tool site and Photoshop CS6 or if you have an expensive one so we will do that both so let's compare this software which works better and um, which is really good for uh, creating uh, line art line works so here I go so first thing first uh, the first software that we were gonna use is paint tool Sci. I know that everyone is not does not know this or does not really uh, know about it because uh, people often use Photoshop more because it's more well known and for others paint tool site is not so yeah here is paint tool site it's very uh, as, as this software is really not heavy as Photoshop because Photoshop is more on um, like image editing not really quite good for like sketching or something like that but let's head on and let's stop talking and let's head on with it so uh, in order to create a line line work using a mouse only only a mouse with a uh, paint tool sign you're gonna head on to this icon uh, as you can see it says new line work layer so click on that and then it will create a line work layer here and when you click on that line work layer here it has a different tools these tools are uh, are in line with your mouse which is really pretty easy and pretty neat so I will show you how amazing it is so I'm just gonna click on this sketch uh, uh, image here and I will just change the opacity something like 65% then head on back to line work and then go to curve okay so then I will try now to trace a uh, this image here so I'm just gonna speed things up uh, a little bit so that the video will not be longer because it this video tutorial will be really long because uh, this is a comparison between Photoshop and paint tool Sci for creating line art so here I go
Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I have almost completely have done the most of the parts of Sarada's uh, sketch here. I uh, have completed uh, her line art uh, except for the the her glasses. We will uh, create those glasses um, lastly. So uh, I'm just gonna hide the raw sketch here. And as you can see, that's really pretty darn nice. You can add some little bit of detail here in the eyes. Something like that. Okay, now uh, the great thing about uh, Paint Tool Sai is uh, it has this feature of adding or editing uh, the dynamics of the lines which um, the Photoshop C6 does not. As you can see, this kind of line work, you can do this in uh, Photoshop, but this editing tool here does not. So kind of like this, where you can edit the lines where in you do not like, something like that. I think Photoshop does not have that kind of option wherein you can really change the dynamics of your lines. I mean the uh, how your lines was created first. And you see that there's something off a little bit. You can change. Okay, and the other pressure is uh, the other uh, the other uh, what I mean is tool is this pressure which works really well, which works really amazing, which really adds more depth and look into our line work. So something like this, as you can see, I have clicked this pressure here. Just gonna drag it out. Look, it it becomes thin. The line becomes thin. Here, it the line becomes thick, as you can see. And as an advice to you guys, when lines are connecting or intersecting together, those lines should be thick. So just gonna change that here a bit that looks nice you can change you can really change the dynamics that then you can make it thin here I hope you I hope you get this because uh, as you can see uh, Photoshop does not have this kind of option wherein you can thicken or th thicken or uh, make it thinner your lines look like so you can really change that here which is really amazing uh, it simulates like you are drawing an graphic tablet but which is not because you are creating this line art only using a mouse see see that it's really I really find that really amazing okay so I'm just gonna speed things up again so that you can see the the changes that will happen if we edit uh, the dynamics of the line Okay, so here I go.
Hello again, and I am back. And as you can see, the lines that we have edited with the pressure tool and edit tool is really now really amazing because the dynamics, as you can see, that we added into it is really, really good. And if you do not have a graphic tablet, then paint tool Sci will be the clear winner if, if I'm gonna say it to you guys because I have many lots of Photoshop tutorials and you have seen it but Photoshop can never do this if, so yeah if you have a graphic tablet or if I mean if you don't have a graphic tablet then paint tool size is for you so now we add another detail into um, Sarada's uh, line art because we don't have uh, her glasses so I'm just gonna uh, Okay, I'm just gonna hide that and I'm just gonna create her glasses here. So, I'm just gonna create a new new line work layer here and then choose curve and again, we will trace those glasses of her. Now, so I'm just gonna speed things up here now, so here I go. As you can see now, guys, I'm back, and I think that is uh, almost done. I mean, it's done, I guess. <laughs> what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna edit some minor changes here, just erasing those uh, overlaps. Just raising those overlaps in the glasses of Sarada Uchiha. Okay, so now uh, all we have to do is just uh, press F so that this line work here will go down to this line work, our first line work, and then yeah, then we'll just delete that. Then we have the complete. Uh, uh, image here and then we're just gonna add some uh, line here for Sarada's neck that press enter to uh, to end the line then just add pressure into it yeah Something like that okay that looks good click curve then I'm just gonna rename this as mouse mouse line work yeah and it's done that's how amazing paint will sigh when you are drawing or tracing your uh, finished uh, sketch so that you can create now a clean line art for it in paint tool side really amazing really great tool 
if you have or you don't have a graphic tablet. So now let's head on to uh, Photoshop. Okay, in Photoshop, we're just gonna add a new layer here, and then we will try our best into creating a line art. And this default set, uh, the settings that I will be using in creating line, uh, line art for a uh, Photoshop would be the brush tool here, and I'm just gonna choose uh, a default brush here. This first one here, I'm just gonna use three pixels because I have used three pixels into Paint Tool Sci. Okay. okay, I will check it back. Uh, what is it? Yeah, three pixels. So I'm just gonna use that also, and then I'm just gonna minimize that there, and then I will head on into this tool here, which is called the Pen Tool. So we will use that in order to trace uh, Sarada's face. Then we will just change the opacity of this image. Something, uh, where it is? There, 70, uh, 58 percent. Then we'll head back to the layer here, and then we will try our best to create a clean line art into Photoshop CS6. Now, so I will just speed things up again so that the video will not be really long. Okay, here I go.
okay guys I'm back and as you can see I have already done the line art or the clean line art for this sketch and I'm just gonna name this line work um, mouse mouse okay. as you can see I think uh, the line work really uh, works pretty well I did not use the simulate pressure in this because that would really take some quite of a time if I do that so I just use the default preset for the brush with no simulate pressure on it just a simple uh, simple uh, line art it looks good it looks clean it's really amazing but it does not have dynamics as as of like the paint tool side here which has really an, an amazing dynamics altogether which really adds beauty into your line art line work when you're coloring it and it will much look more better okay so yeah that's I think that's the difference between um, Photoshop CS6 because Photoshop CS6 is not really meant for like creating drawing or line arts like that because it is like a photo photo editing software well here in uh, paint tool side as you can see that it really works well it is uh, the software is really uh, is not that really heavy into your computer uh, not like uh, to the Photoshop it will really require um, a good amount of graphics card but here you can really uh, work it well you can edit the dynamics here by just using uh, this line work tool here layer then use curve then if you don't like uh, how the curve is created then you can edit it here it's really amazing then you can add pressure this add pressure tool here will add uh, great dynamics into your image that it will look much more like that you have been drawing it into your graphic tablet but you are using only a mouse and your hand which is really amazing so yeah it's a clear winner here that uh, uh, the paint tool side is the winner when you are creating line work line art if you're trace if you are tracing your very own uh, image scanning it and then adding it into your paint tool side or into your computer or into your Photoshop 6 so yeah guys if you choose between Photoshop and paint tool side paint tool side is the best tool for creating line work so I can the next uh, uh, in this tutorial would be uh, I will create a part two of it this would be part one this is a mouse line work line art because I think the video is now really long so I'm just gonna stop it here for a while so yeah here's the difference excuse me here's a clear difference yeah it's really clean the image is really clean here but here it has a good dynamic so guys, this is Raijin Do It Yourself Tutorials. If you have some questions, problems, or any suggestions regarding this tutorial, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer everyone. And thank you guys for those many subscribers that have subscribed into my channel. I will try my best in creating more tutorials that could help you. So thank you for watching. See you next time, and stay tuned for part two on this because in the part two, a part uh, will be creating the same uh, line work method but using a graphic tablet this time so see you next time goodbye